A big welcome to Everyman Driver. I'm Dave Erickson. Thanks so much for watching. Today I'm wrapping up my week-long drive and review of this beauty, the 2020 Ram 1500 Eco Diesel. This is the Laramie Crew Cab 4x4. So without wasting any more time, Let's get started. So many things to cover in today's video, so I understand if you wanna watch some of it, come back and watch the rest of it. No big deal, it's a long video, lots of content to cover today. Uh, the Ram box, the storage back seat, the split tailgate, the infotainment system, which is phenomenal, the center console, sliding moonroof, the fact that this has seven trim levels, the competition, the engine options, so much to go over. We're gonna have fun with this one and really dig deep. So first of all, seven trim levels. You know we have the Laramie Crew Cab. The Crew Cab box is five feet, seven inches long as opposed to the long bed, which is the quad cab version, six feet, four inches. Now, competition-wise, as you probably already know, F-150, Silverado 1500, and Toyota Tundra. The beginning MSRP on the competition is one of the uh, disadvantages for the Ram 1500. The F-150 starts just under 29 grand, Silverado 1500 just over 28,000, and the Toyota Tundra just over $26,000. To get the keys to a 2020 Ram 1500, it'll cost you 32 grand and change. The base price on our Laramie Crew Cab is $46,700, but we have tons of extras. Uh, but in the meantime, let's talk about the engines available on this 2020. Behold the diesel-powered turbocharged 3-liter 6-cylinder, also known as, aka, the Eco Diesel. This bad boy here, which is our tester, is new this year, 260 horsepower, 480 pound-feet of torque. This has a maximum towing rating of 12,500 pounds. This is more powerful and fuel efficient than last year's Eco Diesel. 25 miles per gallon approximately combined mixed driving number. The other engine options available on the Ram 1500 for 2020 include the 3.6 liter V6 and the 5.7 liter V8. That V6 gets 305 horsepower, 269 pound-feet of torque, whereas the V8, 395 horses, 410 pound-feet of torque. All of those engine options are mated to an eight-speed automatic transmission. Time to go through some demonstrations and highlight the features of this vehicle. There are a lot of them, so I'm gonna be all over the place. No real sequence here, just what I see, I'm gonna show you what it is. So first of all, opening the door, hit the power running boards, nice on both sides now the seats here both fold up to give you really a lot of room to actually use it for cargo or if you want to walk through it uh, there's also a ram bin this is one of those cool features so lift this up here under the floor mat you can see the storage space here, you can have it on both sides. You do have it on both sides, so it's nice and convenient. I'll show you some more storage in a second. Lift these seats up, which is super easy, barely an inconvenience. So now you have a 60-40 split on the back seats. You can have two passengers, fold one up for storage. This is one of the most comfortable back seats in a pickup truck I've been in. And I've been in a few, and this one is just incredible. I've got a couple of USB ports back here. So much comfort and space. Old grab handle down below. We've got the panoramic moonroof. This is what it looks like when you open it up. Goes from the front two passengers all the way back to just about your headline of the back passengers. No problem getting five people in here comfortably. I'm sure you can get four people in the back seat, although you don't have four seat belts, but you can get four people back here if you really, really need one and two. Statistically speaking, 90% of my viewers are guys, so that's who I'm talking to right now. Now, if you have a work crew, you've got uh, a bunch of dudes that you wanna go on a, a road trip with, this truck is gonna be fantastic for that. Easily have uh, room for three big fellas here in the back seat and you've got the extra storage for drinks, for whatever you wanna throw back here. I can see that since it drives so nicely, you hardly notice that you're in a quote truck, except for in our case, we got the diesel engine, so you hear a little bit of that. But if you didn't know any better, you're just in a big size, full size vehicle. It just happens to be a pickup truck with storage and technology and safety. It's gonna be a very comfortable and confident place for you to be in. You're gonna like it a lot.
I think this is genius, this is innovative, this is smart. Having these Ram boxes on either side of the truck bed. Guys, ladies, use your actual key to open up your Ram box. That's what I'm talking about. Now, you can put ice in here, you can put tools in here, you can store ropes, uh, camping supplies, hunting supplies. There's even a plug in here. This is cool. Uh, because not only there's one, but there's one on the other side. So utilize it, use the extra space. It's pretty darn cool, and it's even got lights on the inside. So let's say you are at night, you're popping these open, you wanna see what's inside? Little lights above on both sides. So there are a couple of ways you can open your lift gate. It's a split lift gate. Number one, take your hand under the handle, lift it to fold it down flat. Nice soft opening, goes both directions nice and soft, and then, your second way, putting your hand uh, face down and press the button to open it up sideways. So this is, in a way, is a 60-40 uh, tailgate split. So you can open it up one side and open up the other side to uh, allow your entry into the back. This is just really cool. I know a lot of other YouTubers or car reviewers are demonstrating this, but since I got it, I'm gonna demonstrate it because who knows, maybe this is the first time you're seeing this video and this truck. There you go, pretty cool stuff, I like it a lot. I may spend too much time in the cabin, but this cabin is the best cabin you will drive in for a pickup truck, no doubt about it. And we've got this huge screen on the inside, which normally comes with an 8.4 inch screen, but we've got this extra large one, 11, 12 inches, whatever it may be, but it's just a, a really beautiful layout. I think you're gonna like it. A lot of technology, a lot of, a lot of uh, graphics, but still have buttons and dials to use. I told you, man, check out that screen. This is basically uh, an oversized tablet iPad on its side, sitting up vertically. And look at all the information you have on here. I'm gonna go through some of this, um, but I'm not gonna go over all the details, but enough to get you interested in learning about yourself. You got heated and ventilated seats. You got a Wi-Fi hotspot. The backup camera, tap that, see if I tap it now, there you go. So you can see what's behind us. And also climate controls just popped up. Turn the wheel and the lines turn too. So guide you into parking spots or back into a boat or a trailer. The screen here has two different sections. You can select what you want in the top screen. I'll just press media here. And then down below, I'm gonna pick uh, the climate control. Now these climate controls are also on the side, so you've got real buttons to press in. Here's a fan, for example, or turn the heat down. But you also have it down here if you want. There's the climate control there. Change the heated and ventilated seats, heated steering wheel. They also give you options of um, the backup camera right there, surround view camera. Change it to phone. So if you have your phone hooked up. Now there's a pair of USB ports down here. There's also a wireless charging tray or pad right here. So you put your phone next to it. If it's compatible, it'll charge your phone. Extra storage right there. This little spot is a nice container to hold your phone into place. And check out this slider. So you got the um, huge box down here. They have a max fill line. So you can pour something in here if you had to, if you wanted to, if you wanted to keep something cold, for example. I don't know how many of you will use this, but on the underside of the armrest, they've got a fraction to decimal chart. They've got a trigonometry ratios graphic here, tangent, cosine, uh, sine, uh, Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. I don't know why you need that, but it's there. Also like a ruler section, standard metric wrench conversion chart. Cup holders up front, cup holders just behind for the passengers in the back if they wanna use it. Just a really cool cabin. This is the coolest cabin I've been in. Uh, dial here for the eight-speed automatic transmission, four-wheel drive, options there. A tray on top for storage. Put your keys up there, your wallet, whatever you want. Your glove compartimente. Steering wheel mounted controls with your Bluetooth over here. Some of your safety devices with your radar cruise control, gear limit. 
Now this section here will change what we see in the instrument cluster so I can go up to the screen setup, mail or messages, music, trailer tow, trip information, which also can go miles per gallon and stuff. So right now I've been averaging right there just under 20 miles per gallon, but I still have over 600 miles of range. Love me a diesel. Driver assist, so lane departure warning. This keeps you in the lane, so if you do veer left or right, this will alert you of that and um, keep you safe. Also just above the rear view mirror, you can just press this button and the tailgate will drop. Lights for the car. Uh, here's where I open up the, the moon roof. Also the, the rear sliding glass behind the, the back passengers. Open and close, that's the sunroof. And this is opening the sunroof. Tilt feature. Now this is my last day with it. Got to return it here tomorrow, so that's why I'm shooting my video now. I want to get the most experience I can with this. So uh, with that, let's go ahead and go for a drive and we'll talk about some more cool stuff. As I get going here, this vehicle has $25,000 worth of extras add-on packages. So again, the base price on this one is just over $46,000, but nearly $25,000 worth of extras. Hey, it's up to you whether or not you want to add all those things, but you can get really spendy. This vehicle is just a, you know, I have an F-150. I would choose this over my F-150 if it was, let's say price wasn't an issue. This thing is so nice to drive in. It's got a nice power, this for, in our, in our case, we have the diesel, a nice powerful engine. Of course, if you want more power, go with the non-diesel. Uh, but anyways, so as I accelerate, boom, that 400 plus pound feet of torque, that's where you feel it. I think you'll like that part of it, even though uh, overall horsepower isn't that impressive, the torque is great, which helps if you want to do some towing, absolutely. And this truck's got some pretty cool stuff when it comes to the, the, the towing with the, the backup camera, uh, the tow haul mode. I'm trying to give you a perspective after a full week of living with this truck, trying to drive it every single day, even if it's a highway driving or just running to the store, kind of like I'm doing right now to give some more footage and give you some impressions. Even with these big old wheels on, I think I got 22s. Yeah, 22s on this one. Pretty solid on the road. Smooth shifting. Got eight speed automatic transmission. I've been in two wheel drive the whole week. I haven't really needed to. You can tell by the weather. I haven't needed to use or utilize the four wheel drive in high or low. What makes this so impressive to me is the feeling inside the cabin with the updated technology, with this infotainment screen, a vertical screen, great color graphics. It's a beautiful overall cabin. Now you're gonna you're gonna pay extra for it, uh, but it seems like to me you got the money. Might as well live it up. The safety is on par with what everyone else has. With the lane keeping, the blind spot information, the backup camera, the lane lines when you're backing up. It's got this feature as well. I was doing a backup. Uh, and for some reason, I think the camera in the back noticed some weeds that were sticking up that I didn't notice. The vehicle broke hard. It just basically broke and would not let me go any further. I was like, wow, that's pretty cool. I didn't realize that the truck is keeping me safe. So backing up, going forward too close to something, and I'm not putting pressure, any pressure on the brake pedal, the truck stopped itself. So it's keeping you safe. Comfort wise, let's say you're taking a road trip, absolutely, uh, you're gonna like it. Not only do you have all the little fun stuff with the storage bins, the RAM bin, um, you've got this huge arm console here and the storage below that, but just to sink into the seat, which got all the different adjustabilities as well, cruising along the highway, there's no heads-up display. I can't remember, now I'm thinking about it, I don't know how many uh, pickup trucks have heads-up displays. I'm so used to driving crossovers and sedans which have the heads-up display, which uh, puts on a image on the windshield so you know you know how fast you're going or having any safety information but I think the in instrument cluster is large enough and and clear enough to see and I can just adjust through there if I want to 
show, speedometer, vehicle information, driver assist information. It's all right there for me, so I'm not too concerned. Don't miss it, it's just something, because I get a new vehicle every week, I, it's a reminder, hey, no heads up display, not a big deal. I know we have the Laramie, so we've got a lot more extras on it to make it more luxurious on the inside with the leather, with the extra trim and the stitching. To me, I'm sure at this price point, you're gonna be using this truck for taking the boys out, going to work, and this is gonna be a comfortable work truck. You're gonna look forward to going to work, I would think, uh, in this truck, and it's still durable in the back to uh, haul what you need to haul, and you have those two different bed options as well. It is nice, too, that it has all the updated technology offerings with that wireless charging pad, which I showcased earlier, the USB ports in the front and back, so everyone has a chance to juice up their smart devices. The extra large screen upgrade is nice. Otherwise, I, I did read some comments that people prefer the 8.4 inch screen that uh, FCA offers and that the larger screen is a distraction. But I think everything has its learning curve. Uh, this is you know, good enough for both front passenger and driver. It's not driver centric. So if you want, you know, obviously stay safe. Let the uh, passenger control the dials on the screen. I don't see it, that being a problem whatsoever. Um, but I guess to each its own, each their own, that uh, if you don't want a big screen, go for the standard 8.4 inch and don't worry about the upgrades. Either way, it's gonna be uh, easy to see. All right, entering the highway now, we're just going at 50. I'm gonna accelerate up to about 60, 65, the speed limit, just to kind of give you a sense of the uh, highway speed pickup. There we go. A little bit of delay, went from 2,000 to 3,000 RPM. Boom, we're there. That's a strong uh, acceleration. Not as fast as I'd like it to be, but when you want to take on some speed, you've got it there. Now, I turned the signal indicator to the right, but there was a vehicle in the blind spot, gave me a little audible alert. And now, I'm going to uh, let the lane departure alert kick in. So, it pulled me back into front, or pulled me back into center, that is, and now I'm letting it go to the left side, and it's pulling me back center again. So, if you're not paying attention, briefly, if you're looking down, for example, the lane keeping aid feature here will keep you right where you need to be driving down the highway. That is the only time I hear the diesel from a stop to a start. That's the only time. Otherwise, driving around town, I have no idea. I know. I have no idea that I'm driving a diesel. There's nothing that says in my ears. Oh my gosh, you're driving a big old diesel truck. I'm not. All right, guys and gals, here's what it looks like taking your uh, Ram 1500 through a drive through spacing. Just going to my favorite go to sandwich shop, Jimmy John's. Now, this is a big vehicle. As you can see here, I'm making my way in behind a Chevy. We've got a Silverado in front of us. What up, dog? That's what I like. Oh yeah, here's something pretty cool. I can't see it in this camera, but I can retract the side mirrors, which stick out pretty far. So when I've gone here before, I think I have a camera, I can get video of this. I'll show you what it looks like. All right, making my way behind the uh, Silverado. I'm gonna retract these side mirrors by pressing this button here. Yes, sir. Make it a lot easier to get where I need to be. Left side, right side. Well, I sure hope you enjoyed that video presentation as much as I did making it. The MSRP here in our tester, the 2020 Laramie Crew Cab 4x4, is just over 70 grand. Until next time, I'm Dave Erickson. Thanks again for watching. Hope to see you back here next time. Adios.
Thanks for watching. Please cr click subscribe. And give us a thumbs up. See you next time. One more thing before you go, I've added links in the description below to some of the best selling automotive accessories and products on Amazon right now, plus links to some of the product reviews I've done. You can find it in the description below this video. And if you don't mind, take a couple of seconds and click that subscribe button. I'm uploading two, three, sometimes four new videos every week, and I don't want you to miss anything, plus it helps support my channel. As always, if you have any constructive criticism, thoughts, or suggestions about my video, please leave it in the comment section below.